I'm just going to show you a little uh, thing that I've been running into quite a bit lately. There's a lot of people out there that are trying to get their logo so they can blow it up and make print it any size they want, and it's still crisp and looks good. Um, there's two different file types. On, well, there's several different file types, but the main ones that we use every day are JPEGs, and uh, those are ones that uh, they don't really expand very far. Um, here's a good example. This is a customer of mine, and uh, we are going to zoom in. I'll start, you'll start to see it pixelate. Okay, so that's little bits of data that the computer puts into a little square. And this is what happens when you blow it up. Okay, so this is a what they call a pixel image. And um, this is what happens when you blow it up. If this was printed really large and you wanted a great big banner, at a certain point it's going to start to look like this. It's not going to look that great. So what I do in, in my world is I can take something like this uh, depending on the complexity, the more complex, the more shading there is, the more time it takes for me to alter it. But if you have a simple logo like a spider or a bat or you have even a mosquito with that much detail, I can convert that into what they call a vector file or a line art file. And we're going to go to Illustrator real quick. And this is a logo that I've designed for a business I'm currently trying to play with for my YouTube channels. And if you look, you know, this has a couple shades in it and stuff like that. So I can't create shading here. But the great thing about this is no matter how far I zoom in, it is always going to be crisp. Okay, so if you have a logo or anything that you need to be digitized so you can blow it up and it looks crisp at any size or level, or you need it to be changed over to multiple different formats, this is really the best way to do it. So please give me a call, let me quote, send it over to me. My email and my phone number will be tagged in this, so that way you can get your logo digitized, so that way you can blow it up to any size you want, and you can use it across multiple areas, and it will always stay crisp. Unless it's converted over to a pixel document like a JPEG, or sometimes a PDF. A PDF can be both. It can be a vector, and it can be a pixel. It all depends on how it's brought into your computer, and how what type of software opens it up. Okay, with that being said, I'm going to leave you for now. If you have any desire to digitize your logo so it can be turned into something where you can blow it up forever and it's always crisp, please give me a shout. I am here, I am available, and I want to make sure that I can help you get the logo that you want put out in the right places and have it looking good. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you again soon.